actual rules here at Coffins Beach. Many of you have seen different beaches here in Gloucester. Many know about Good Harbor Beach, Long Beach, Stage Fort Park beaches, even Niles Beach, and above all, Wingashik Beach, which is well known to Boston, many people around the world. However, there is a beautiful hideaway beach next to Wingashik called Coffins Beach. And Coffins Beach is only accessible by probably roughly 800 to 1,000 homeowners in the immediate area, including those at Castleview. So we take this luxury time to show you our beach and the roadway leading up to it. Coming from the stone pillars down that way and going up towards Two Penny Lane and the castles at the other end. However, this is our access road where we drop off people and the walkway to our beach. As we get down this walkway, many of us have to take all of our stuff on carts or by hand. There is no vehicle traffic on these walkways. No motorcycles, scooters, or golf carts. So it's very quaint, a very unique area of Gloucester in a hideaway beach to, as I say, only 800 to possibly a thousand homes in the region. Many friends come here for weddings and other functions that are just amazed by the magnificent views of Coffins Beach. It's nestled between Wingashik Beach and Cranes Beach over there on the Essex River. So as you come to Coffins Beach, as you can see, we're walking through the dunes, which is allowed because we have a pathway that's been here for many years. You can glance down the dunes to one side and down to the other. So that's down at what's known as Waterman section. And if you can see in the distance, there are stones down there. And those stones separate Wingersheet Beach from this one, Coffin Beach. Wingersheet, you pay about $25 a day for parking for your car or truck or SUV. And then you're cramped into a beach. This happens to be August 28th at approximately 6 p.m. at night. And so many of the beachgoers here have already left. However, my family is in that blue tent in front of you. My daughter's in from New Jersey with her three and her husband. And she's walking down the beach with her two girls and her husband's there under the umbrella. We have a beautiful beach that you can see going the distance, which is a good half mile in that direction. And all the homes in a circular pattern going here, including these. And down the other end to the other end of the beach, which probably the better than three quarters of a mile or more. And this is not a busy day, but most days are like this. Unless it's a weekend or a big holiday, this is the type of day we have with less than probably 100 or 200 people on the beach. It's just absolutely awe-inspiring, and everybody that comes here is in shock how beautiful it all is. <clears throat> so we can see in the distance the waves coming in, where it's reclined out approximately, oh, four or five hundred feet in any given area. There are sand dunes here, an unbelievable, pristine ocean areas with unbelievable amount of sea to, to see. <laughs> so that's it in a nutshell. That's my family right there, my daughter and grandchildren, three of them. And my son in is hiding behind the tent. There are just a few people on the beach at six o'clock. Even today it wasn't too busy. And then we walk back out this sand dune and out to the street as a remnant of what we have 
and I'm so sad to be leaving because we're probably moving to a warmer climate in the next few months. I'm gonna end this video for now, but I really think it's one of the nicest beaches I've ever been to, and that's been commented by many. The sand dunes are amazing, and the change every single year is quite different. The dunes that you see right here have been built up from way back of where that yellow chair is. If you can see that yellow chair, all the way out to here since the perfect storm. When the perfect storm happened, we came here and there was approximately a 25 foot drop off straight down. It was like someone took a knife and cut the entire sea and all the grasses right out into the ocean. And it took all these years, many years after the 1991 perfect storm to have it regrow. I'm not gonna continue for much longer, but I thought everybody should have an access to this. My name is Dr. Kevin Mulhern, and my wife's name is Terry, T-E-R-R-I. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us wherever we go. We'll be more than happy to give you a copy of the video. All the best to everyone. Sincerely, Kevin. Kevin.